This program is brought to you in part by... You guys, I just found the coolest thing. So I just finished hiking, and on the trail, hiding in a bush, there was this chest. Even cooler, there was a secret note inside. I'll read it to you guys. To whom it may concern, here before you is the first clue to a lost temple containing an ancient artifact. Your next clue is located in the world's largest temperate rainforest. Good luck. The largest temperate rainforest. Well, I know we just studied ecosystems. Oh, what could it? Oh, I remember. It's the Tongass Rainforest that's located in Alaska. Now, I know I have to teach you guys a few lessons today. You know I want to too, but I do want to go on this adventure. Was wondering, cool for you guys if we do both at the same time? Cool. Let's do it. Let me get this bad boy out. Well, gotta put this away. Can't lose it. And during those four days, the last of the Tongass. Tongass National Forest, here we come. Definitely need some type of hat. Perfect. Don't want to get rain all over me. Now, the first clue said my next clue should be around here somewhere. There it is. Clue number two. Let me read it for you guys. In order to read the secret message for this clue, you must have your students answer interactive questions via Google email and teach a lesson to the class. Okay, looks like I know what we need to do. You guys got to do some interactive questions and I got to teach a lesson. Let's do it. Let me get that whiteboard out. One step closer to reaching that artifact. Reading group, our first lesson is all about figurative language and we're going to focus on a new form of figurative language. Go ahead and take a guess. If you said hyperbole, you're correct. Now, what we're going to do is, we're going to talk about its features, its definition, some facts about it, and then you're going to look at a, a few hyperboles, understand why it is, you're gonna describe why it is, and then you're gonna create your own. Let me set up the board. Here are some facts about a hyperbole. Now, its definition is, the use of exaggeration as a rhetorical device of figure speech. Here's another cool fact. Hyperboles uh, are also known as an oxyces. Uh, in poetry, it emphasizes, evokes strong feelings and creates strong impressions. And also should never be taken literally. And the last fact about a hyperbole is it's very similar to idioms. So I'm gonna step back, go ahead and make sure you guys get this information. Pause if you need to. Good, all right. Now, go ahead and you're going to get a hyperbole on the screen and you're going to explain to me why it is a form of a hyperbole. Get that answer in a Google email, okay? Go ahead.
job identifying and explaining why those are hyperboles. Awesome. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to create your own hyperbole and you're going to explain why it is one. Go ahead. Fantastic job, reading group. Now, get that in a Google email, okay? And email me. I'm gonna erase the board. Woo! Got the interactive questions done and the first lesson. Let's see if this hidden message appears. Your next clue is located in the world's largest tropical rainforest. After our unit of ecosystems, this one's an easy one. Tell me the answer. Oh yeah, you already know, the Amazon tropical rainforest. Well, looks like we're going to South America. Let me pack this up. All right. Now, don't want to lose this clue. Activate the teleportation device. Let's enter in the coordinates. Amazon. Rainforest. See you guys there. I can open the door. <laughs> now a commercial break from sixth grade. How to have fun during quarantine. Get outside and exercise. Definitely gonna need some, I don't know, protection from this rain. This is way more like it. Woo! Look at this little rain poncho. I'm not getting wet now. Well, clue three should be around. There you are. Just under this rock. Well, let's read it. 
In order to read the secret message for this clue, you must teach a lesson to the class. Seriously? Another hidden message? Well, at least this time, I just have to teach the lesson. Let me get off the whiteboard. Let's begin. Reading group. Today, we're going to continue reading No Easy Answers, Our Digital World, pages 26 to 37. And we're going to elaborate on the central idea. Now, the central idea of this passage is driverless cars will benefit society. You heard me right. Driverless cars, meaning no driver, just passengers. So, let me set up the board real quick, okay? Now, we have our central idea given here. And you are going to use the outside bubbles to elaborate on the central idea. Each example can be paraphrased text evidence, however, I do need a page number. Now, you'll notice times six. That means you guys have to come up with six examples. However, I'm going to give you two you may use if you'd like. So, let's go ahead and let's look at those examples. And my first one is going to be on page 27. Let me go ahead and get my book out of my pocket. What? What? I lost my book! Well, good thing you guys have years. Turn to page 27. What I paraphrased that text evidence to was, statistics show driverless cars are safer. And I made sure to put the page number, page 27. Now, let's look at our second example of an elaboration of the central idea. And we're on number two, you're gonna to turn to page 29. I paraphrased that text evidence to driverless cars will result in less traffic and less pollution. Page 29. This driverless cars deal sounds like a pretty good gig. I'm gonna have to get on board. Well, you guys need to do four more examples and then don't forget you have some vocabulary. Co vocabulary, excuse me. Commuter and gestures are your two words and they're both on page 32. And don't forget to do your reading comprehension. That's it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and erase the board. Well, that wraps up our last lesson. You know what that means. We can decode our secret message. Let's check it out. Now, the map says that I'm right here and I need to get over there. This way. Sweet, the rain's cleared up. Although it's a little humid. Man, there are a lot of animals out here. Pretty friendly. I'm just hoping I don't run into anything too dangerous. Or any dangerous plants, you know what I mean? But I gotta say, Pretty beautiful out here. Getting a little darker. Ooh, I think it's through. I think it's through there. Yeah. Alright. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see this? This is usually known as a black panther. However, that's not their formal name. Really? They are a black jaguar or leopard. And here in the Amazon, Jaguar. So, let's get quiet. Whew. Glad we made it past that black jaguar. Ooh, that thing can be dangerous. He's the real king of the jungle here. Well, I think it's up there. Yes, right through there. Let's go. Let's see, where is that walker? Hmm. Wait. No. Is that, is that it? Can it be? Oh my gosh! It's the secret walker! Yeah,
Brothers, I need to get out of here.